What's up, Internet? I'm gonna do something a little different today. Um, I'm a huge advocate of if your wheels aren't clean, your truck isn't clean. And uh, if your wheels are only clean and the truck isn't, it's still clean. So, I'm gonna work over the wheels on the Bronco. Um, they are pretty bad, as you can see. Uh, they're, uh, I, haven't, I haven't really even cleaned them at all since I, I got them. I got them uh, off of, uh, actually the wheels and tires from a parts truck that somebody was selling. So, um, yeah, I went out and found the best rated wheel or aluminum wheel cleaner that I could find that wasn't uh, straight out acid. Um, and uh, so we're going to try it. I'm going to spray it on there and see if it's a difference. So take a good look. Here's before. Let's see how it goes. All right. First try with the uh, Eagle One triple cleaning foam destroys grease, grime, and brake dust, PVD, and aluminum wheel cleaner. Uh, that's what we ended up with. As you can see, there's a little shine underneath there, but there's still a whole bunch of stuff on there, a bunch of spots. It's still pretty dull. A little cleaner, but all I did was uh, sprayed it on, let it sit for a minute, and then started uh, scrubbing it with the scrub brush, which it's a cheap scrub brush, and st started melting the bristles. So it is a little bit acidic. It says to use gloves and you know eye protection and all that stuff, which I do recommend. But we're gonna try another one. Uh, we're gonna try another uh, cleaning of it. I'm gonna do a second coat, and uh, I'm gonna up my game a little bit with a really light duty uh, SOS. Yeah, it'll probably will scratch the finish up a little bit, but um, hopefully not too much. It'll get this stuff off and I am going to polish it eventually. Um, I don't want these wheels to be perfect. They're never gonna be perfect, but I'd like them to shine a little bit and be clean because uh, that makes the whole difference on the over, overall look of the truck. If these things are filthy dirty, the truck is dirty. So, uh, stand by. Okay, uh, second, or I should say, um, yeah, second coat. Second ap application, let's put it that way. Second application of uh, the Eagle One. Um, and then after the application, where'd it go? Uh-oh, ah, here it is. No edits here. A um, little bit of an SOS pad, a really fine grit, like an 800 or something like that. Uh, and this is where we're at. Definitely, uh, at least on video, looks really, really good. Um, looks a lot brighter but as you can see you get in here close and uh, we still got quite a few um, little uh, not really chips but just marks little stains on there uh, little areas like right here I still need to work on right here I need to work on but you can see there are some areas that it's getting right down to the bare aluminum um, you know it's a little dull because I did use an abrasive on it but <laughs> there's a couple of these wheels that have uh, plenty of abrasive marks on them. Somebody has taken, I think, flat out sandpaper to it at some point on one of the other wheels. Um, this is probably the worst one that uh, that I haven't touched yet that's in the best shape. It was the dirtiest, but uh, it's going to turn out the best. Uh, so I'm going to do another application on it once it dries a little bit because it says to put it on dry. And uh, I'm going to go over these areas one more time with the SOS pad. And then I think I'm going to be ready to uh, start putting some polish on there. So... Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's getting better if you compare it to the first uh, That's definitely if somebody sees that walks up and just sees it, you know without getting too close to it They're gonna say hey, that's a that's a pretty nice wheel. So uh, that's really all I'm after on this thing. So uh, yeah, let's see if you can get a little bit better and uh, Go from there All right, just finished the third application of this uh, wheel cleaner and uh, I'd say it's going pretty well uh, so this I haven't polished anything but I've just sprayed it on, let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute, and, uh, and then hit it with some, uh, an SOS. And uh, hey, from here it looks like a brand new wheel. If you get up close on it, you can see swirl marks. You can still see there's a little bit of uh, some dark spots on there. Um, it's definitely, uh, you know, not perfect still, but areas like right here, I mean, that looks really, really good. And that's probably ready for polish. I think I'm going to try a little section of polish with a wheel and see if I can get any more of these dark spots off. Even if I don't get them off, it still looks a lot better than it did. And uh, I put a little bit of a plate shine back on this and it's going to look 
good enough for me, good enough for anybody that sees it driving by. Um, and, uh, you know, like, like I said, I'm not about perfection on this rig. I'm about just making it look good and, and enjoying it, driving it. So uh, this right here is, I mean, compared to what it was, this is one of the better wheels. But as you can see, you know, it's, it is dirty, but it's got, you know, a lot of oxidation, oxidization on it. Um, very oxidized, to put it that way. But this one, a lot better. And I have spent probably 30 minutes on it. Um, really, you know, I'm fortunate. This is a really open wheel, so it's easy to polish. It's easy to get into and scrub and everything. Um, you know, some of them aren't. Some of them are really elaborate. This is my favorite kind of wheel. So I have this on, on two of the rigs. Um, but uh, 30 minutes and seven bucks for some cleaner, that's pretty good. I would say that's a win. So uh, I'm gonna bust the wheel out, polish it up a little bit, um, and uh, see if I can get rid of some of these spots and these swirl marks, see how it goes. I'll let you know. Okay, final stage. So I did, uh, after the third application of the cleaner, I uh, went ahead and got some uh, of the aluminum polish out, the, uh, the Mother's Mag and aluminum polish, and I also got my polishing wheel, uh, which is the, uh, it's the cone type that I think is uh, its mother's brand um, or McGuire's. I don't remember which one, but it's there. Yeah, I've already I've used it quite a bit and wore it down, but it worked pretty well for these wheels. And uh, this is what we've ended up with. Uh, it, as you can see, we got a shine back out of it. Um, it's not perfect. Like I keep saying, I don't really care if it's perfect, but um, it looks pretty darn good for just, uh, you know, of uh, the cleaning process for this wheel. Obviously, I still need to do something. I need to put a cap in here or paint this black or something. I, I really need the, the center cap, but I haven't ordered those yet. Um, you know, some new lug nuts that aren't rusty. Uh, sorry, the light's terrible because we have the sun shining in here, which helps to show that it's shiny now, but uh, you can't really see any detail. There's still a few little itty bitty pits in here. I don't know if you can see them or not. Uh, but you know what? I'm not gonna worry about that. You can't really see them from a distance. I could go over this thing a few more times with the polishing wheel, and it'd probably be really good if I took the wheels off, got into these little crevices a little bit better. But I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna show you the difference between that one and that one. I would say that that's, uh, that's a pretty good difference right there. I can, uh, I can deal with that. Oh do the rest of the wheels but my goodness from a distance that looks like a brand new wheel that you just bolted on and that's really all I'm after so uh, yeah that's the process you uh, experienced it exactly the same time that I did I had no idea how well this stuff was gonna work and honestly it worked pretty well on an old pitted wheel like this to get it that good um, so I have uh, three more wheels to do on this truck and uh, all four to do on that truck to uh, make everything shine again for spring. So uh, thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe and all that stuff and follow me on Instagram and, and uh, Facebook at Bullnose Zach. And uh, we'll see y'all later.